Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. General Petraeus, welcome back to committee. And Madam Secretary, thank you as well. Hailing from southern Arizona, I'm glad you're staying hydrated. Very important, considering <laughs> that we know out in the desert. And on behalf of the men and women of Fort Huachuca and Davis Mountain Air Force Base, we just want to thank both of you for your service. And unfortunately, we lost two of our airmen actually associated with um, Davis Monthan, um, Senior Airman Benjamin White, who was 24, and also Tech Sergeant Michael Paul Flores, 31, who were both based um, at Davis Monthan and were part of the Rescue Command. Very sad. Very much brings home, you know, what we're asking of our men and women. There's been a lot of attention back here in the United States on what's happening with the BP oil spill. And as we all know, the largest user of energy on the planet is actually the United States Air Force, and the DOD is the largest user of energy um, in the United States. And I really want to commend the work done on behalf of DOD um, and, and also what's happening in the field with our energy. But it's, it's an area that I just really want to focus on, and I know a lot of questions have been asked, but... During the last three years, supply lines have increasingly threatened, um, have been threatened either by enemy action or through international places. And in places like Kandahar, where we have a large presence, we've been plugged into a very unsustainable and really an incapable grid system. We know that a major part of the upcoming Kandahar offensive will include some serious repairs and upgrades to the energy system, which will include small-scale solar and hydropower systems and also some solar-powered streetlights. I'm just curious whether or not there's plans to utilize any of those same technologies at our bases around Afghanistan, and wouldn't that greatly reduce our need for fuel? I, I pause because uh, there are a couple of different components to what we're trying to do with respect to energy reduction, if you will, and that's really what it is about. And there's, again, a fairly comprehensive effort in that regard. Um, we don't have hydropower, obviously, uh, access to that in the basis, but uh, there has been a significant effort which has re reduced very substantially, actually, what we've needed for the cooling and heating of our workplaces and uh, living places. Uh, and that is sometimes as simple as pumping extra insulation into the roof and walls of these fairly rudimentary temporary buildings that we have, sometimes even the tents. Uh, and it's interesting because we were changing emails today with an individual who's involved in that effort, and we believe there have been actually billions of dollars of savings in this effort if you look at what we did in Iraq first in that regard and uh, have now been uh, pursuing in Afghanistan. Um, if, if I could, I, I might note that the supply lines actually have worked well. The lines of communication through Pakistan, yes, there were periodically are attacks, and there was one uh, a week ago, but that followed a period of months and months, if not a year or so, since the last significant attacks. And it's much less than 1% of all of the cargo that goes in through Pakistan that is affected uh, by these various attacks. And we're up now to some 70% of all supplies, not necessarily all at materiel, but all supplies coming through the north through this carefully constructed northern distribution network that we've been able to establish over the course of the last year in close partnership with U.S. Transportation Command, the State Department, uh, that enables us to bring uh, items through Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and into Afghanistan, and then even through some of the other countries. Uh, there are other routes, including one that comes out of Iraq through Turkey and then turns east. Um, and we, we do use solar power in some cases. Again, uh, where that is provides a benefit to us. Uh, we did that in Iraq as well, by the way, I might point out, quite considerable uh, use of that. And again, that, that's the case in Afghanistan as well. If I could add one final item, we're about to send you the new uh, commander of Fort Huachuca, uh, Brigadier General Promotable Steve Fogarty, uh, has been a stellar uh, military intelligence chief at uh, Central Command over the last two years, has time in Afghanistan, former special mission unit uh, intel chief and so forth. Uh, and I think you will really enjoy him and his wife, by the way.